Right, the falsy pole and the falsy mat works together to produce your samples. Falsy mat has six individual plungers for uh, individual pressures onto the plane. The individual plungers each puts pressure onto individual specimens. These can be worked manually or work in conjunction when the machine is in automatic mode. For setting the timer on the forcey pole unit, the menu is fairly straightforward. Add seconds and minutes to whatever you, you feel is right. This demonstration will go for a 30 second run. To save your time, press your program and then come out of it. Okay. To start running, you can run the falsy mat with the unit or separately. To run the, the falsy pole separately, you can either rotate the plate clockwise or anti clockwise. The falsy mat works exactly with the falsy pole, and you can set individual test pressures on the main force gauge. The force gauge ranges from 0 to 6 bar. To set the falsy mat running in conjunction with the falsy pole, you go to the auto mode. In this mode, the start button will not work on the falsy mat. If in manual, and you just wanted to give a coarse finish on your specimen, the falsy mat will work individually onto the, your grinding pad. At the end of this time, the plungers stay down. So to release the plungers, you can therefore remove your specimens. To run the falsy mat with the falsy pole, go to auto mode. Once you've set your time and your speed, on your forcer pole unit, you can set it in forward or reverse. In forward mode, the plate rotates anti-clockwise, the falsy mat plate rotates clockwise. In reverse, they both plates rotate at the same ro rotation. At the end of the time, a siren will indicate the cycle time finish. The force mat head can be lifted away from the force roll base unit by rotating this handle. This has a pneumatic cylinder lifting the head. The back of the unit has an air supply of up to 6 bar through clean filtrated air. To adjust the pressure on the plungers, first drop the plungers down onto your specimen holder and decrease or increase your air to suit your needs. The regulator can then be locked. The lubomatic attached to the falsy mat head comes as standard. This allows you to add lubricating fluid to your grinding applications. You can purge the system once your bottle has been primed, thus allowing you to have a full charge of fluid within your system. To set the time frequency and the period of length of time that you require, the adjustments are made on the back of the falsy mat unit. These are indicated here. To run the lubomatic with the falsy mat and the falsy pole, click to the run position and start your machine. As you can see, 
The liver mat runs, depending on your settings on the reverse of the falsi mat, to aid with your grinding process when using paste. This eliminates the use of a spray gun. Tin comes in various sizes. These are easily interchangeable. When using your grit paper, ranging from, for example, 180 to 800 grit, these are self-adhesive. Peel this off and attach it to the platen. We have a wide range of grinding discs from 180 up to 4000 grit. After you've, your grinding process is finished, we also offer diamond solutions and pastes to help with the polishing aspects of your specimen. We also offer magnetic polishing plates. This unit, you remove the sticky backing, attach it to your platen, your polishing pads are still backed and then are easily attached to the magnetic plate. The advantage of this is that there are no sharp edges, they are easily removable and they last up to four times longer than the standard pads. We offer a wide range of diamond suspensions ranging from one micron and upwards which can be easily applied via a hand spray or through the use of a disper mat or a dosing mat. The machine also comes with a water feed through a standard water connection maintained at the back of the machine. This is ideal for using with lumina powders. We also offer a range of different types of splash guards. And whilst the machine is not in operation, it is protected through a cover, leaving the machine at rest. The force mat unit comes with two different types of specimen holder units. To change the units, simply lift the force mat and pull to one side. There are two grub screws on either side of the collet. Undo and slowly drop the holder down. This is a 40mm diameter specimen holder with 25mm inserts. These can be replaced by simply pushing from the rear and replacing with a 30mm size. I'm now going to replace the 40mm specimen holder with a 50mm and 30mm connection. Again, the two grub screws have to align with the flat on the shaft. The machine also comes with a job function. If at any time you do not wish to change your time or your other speed settings, you can manually run the machine. All machines come with emergency stop as standard. Maintenance is reduced down to cleaning and ensuring all electrical and pneumatic and water fittings are secure.